Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing my monthly favorites. And it's not so much monthly because I would say for the last couple of months, this is what I've been using the most. Um, my life has been a little bit upside down. One of my favorites is going to be these pair of glasses. And we're going to go over these in a bit. First of all, I want to give you guys a quick update on my dad. A lot of you have been asking. He's doing much better. Thank you so much. He did have surgery on Monday, and it was like at 8.30 at night. Um, we didn't get to go up to his room till around 11 p.m. Um, just for a quick second to see how he was doing, and then we had to leave because visiting hours is only until 8 p.m., and they're very strict about that. But um, he's just having a little bit of confusion which you know they say is all normal because of the anesthesia medication infection he was going through um, they had to amputate his five of his toes on his left foot um, that was an ordeal in itself because for a while there he didn't want to have it done but um, anyways um, they're keeping him because he has fluid in his lungs and they're trying to get that corrected before he comes home but um my husband went today because i i've been in a lot of pain i uh, started going to a chiropractor i felt amazing on saturday sunday and monday and then um i think the tension and all the walking because i was barely walking for three months so i did a lot of walking on monday and that kind of like set me back a little bit but i do feel better than what i was feeling to, before so i'm very um i feel very positive towards going to the chiropractor i saw the change so anyway let's go back to my video now um yeah so i'm going to go through some of the favorites that i've had um this month one of the things i want to talk to you guys before i don't think i mentioned this before but uh, if you guys ever had built bars those are protein bars that are very high in protein very low sugar and very low carbs so i do get them and i love to have them as a dessert since i'm on keto because they really it feels like you're having a candy bar it gives you the satisfaction of having something sweet but not too sweet and they're amazing and sometimes if it's one that is a little too rich i just have like half of it i keep them in my fridge because i like them when they're cold but they are amazing okay they have now they don't carry them all the time but right now they do have what they have um what they call uh puffs and this one i order them in strawberry they have strawberry pumpkin spice and coconut and i ordered them in the coconut which oh my god it is amazing it's dark chocolate and marshmallow coconut flavor marshmallow this one is dark chocolate and strawberry flavor marshmallows i love marshmallows and if they're dark chocolate covered sign me up i love dark chocolate that's the only kind of chocolate i drink even when i make hot cocoa i get the dark chocolate cocoa because i don't like milk chocolate i find it way too sweet so these are amazing these are like i believe these are five net carbs i figured them out and the coconut one i wrote it on here so i won't forget the six net carbs i gave some to my son to try out and he really really loved them so uh yeah these are amazing this is the second box that i ordered the coconut and then i ordered it came in two boxes this size but it equals one of these um this brings uh they're 140 calories and i'll show you the size of the bar it's like this so it, it is a full size like a candy bar but it's so good i'm not a candy bar eater at all i'm not and i don't like protein bars that when you some of them have this weird grainy f texture or they taste like vitamins or they taste like paint chips <laughs> i don't like those they sent me a free sample of this one is uh dark chocolate zero guilt and what flavor is this uh, caramel macchiato all of them are amazing i've tried the uh my favorite ones are always the coconut one there's a coconut almond one that i love that is more of a dense these are not um the marshmallow but the marshmallows are my latest obsession i really do enjoy them yeah i could just have a couple of these and not have a meal and they have 17 grams of protein so this one is 130 calories per um Per bar and i know this one is five net carbs and the coconut one is six 
and the coconut has 140 calories it's still 17 grams of protein this one has five grams of sugar and the coconut has sugar where are you six grams of sugar but they are really really good if you are interested in these bars um i will list below mary ellen has a 10 percent off coupon and that's mary ellen after 60 if you guys have not checked her out you need to she's an amazing woman she has beautiful beautiful skin and she is beautiful inside and out she is the sweetest and i have been subscribed to her for a long time and she has subscribed to me Pro shorter than I have subscribed to her but she is such a great friend very supportive and she's always showing us the best hacks and the best products that you can purchase out there the best deals she likes to shop and get amazing deals so I will list her channel below and also her discount code that is what I used when I purchased these all right so let's get off of that because I can talk about those all day all right, so I want to talk to you. I've talked to you before about peaches on uh, skincare, and I'm going to tell you, um, show you the the most favorite products that I have from peaches. I've tried quite a few of them, but these are the ones that I have repurchased because I truly, truly love them. One of them is the vitamin C. This is the second uh, container of vitamin C, and as you can see, I'm like halfway over, so I'm going to have to order it pretty soon. This is so nice it doesn't feel sticky like a lot of vitamin c uh, serums feel on your skin it smells amazing it smells like oranges and it just absorbs into your skin and i truly do enjoy it i love it the next thing that i love and i just reordered uh, another one because i'm almost out this is a flaw flawless exfoliator and this is made with organic ingredients it's a pre-cleanse so when you wash your face and you remove your makeup then you use this all over your you know you kind of massage it in if i'm taking a shower i usually leave it on while i'm taking my shower and then just rinse it off just before you know like after i rinse my body and i'm almost done with my shower and this smells amazing it has 11 organic extracts um it's an exfoliator it's the pre-cleansing to start your peaches routine it is high powered antioxidants with gentle removing dirt oil and skin cells and impurities from the skin this is so so good so i really do love this and like i said it smells amazing it has like little pieces um of i think it's like fruit what it has i know it has let me see if i have it over here it's so tiny i can read it but it's not it's not rough it doesn't feel like some of them you know how it feels kind of rough and like almost like sand on your face this is not um it feels still gentle but your face looks and feels amazing when you're done and then after that i use the peaches classic face cleanser and this face food with grapefruit and sugar cane and again this has the little particles but they're not harsh on your face whatsoever so i use this after this and then my face looks amazing for this so i use the vitamin c am and pm and i don't always use this in the morning i'll be honest I don't always use this in the morning most of the time i have it in my shower at night when i take a shower is when i use both of these in the morning i do use a little bit of this to clean my face and remove the um you know any, any sebum or you know the 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 um skincare from the night before my mind went blank so amazing amazing i really do love it and i do have other cleansers that i've been trying to go through but i always work these into my routine and if i'm trying to get rid of all of the, some of the other cleansers that i have sometimes i use those in the morning and then i use these high power babies at night all right so another product that i have been loving and it, this was sent to me by city beauty and this is not sponsored actually i didn't even do a video on it when it was launched because it's very expensive um i do like it this is the advanced retinal system and i actually noticed a difference on my face 
and this is like a two-step this first you do this one on your skin not around your eyes but on the rest of your face and then you do this one to tell you the truth this is the only retinol i have ever used that i actually saw removing dead skin from my face like when i got up in the morning i actually peeled a little bit now it's not the kind of peeling that you know i use like this you know to remove it and then everything came off so i didn't have like the kind of peeling that i had to deal with while, while putting on my makeup or anything like that but it actually did remove some you know the dead skin from my face i really do like it but this baby is over a hundred dollars um this is uh let me see 2.60 no it's 20 mls where you get in here oh each one of them is 20 mls i was a little confused there because I'm, I'm like what so each side is 20 mls i do love it but i can't even buy this myself even with my discount but if you can afford it this is the best the best retinol i have ever tried and i've tried quite a few of them so that is definitely a good one Another product that I love from City Beauty is this one is the Multi Action Sculpting Cream. And I use this on my neck. And this is very emollient. And it feels so good when you put it on your face. I mean, you, I, I've used it on my face too. But lately, I've mainly been using it on my uh, neck because I have other products that I've been using on my face. But I really do love this. I know they're going to be having sales. They're going to be having the mascara, buy one, get one. They're having some sales on the uh, their um, lipsticks. So I'm going to list them below the dates that I have been given for the sales in case you guys are interested in purchasing anything. I do love their products. I wouldn't talk to you about City Beauty if I didn't think they were good. They can be kind of pricey, but they also have some really amazing sales. And I would say probably for... Um, Black Friday they will probably um, be running really good sales and if they have a sale on this one I think I'm gonna get a backup because I really do see like it I really actually saw the difference in my face um, in my skin all right so this is from um, one size which is the Patrick Star brand and I received this primer on a boxy charm I believe it was boxy charm and this is the secure the blur this thing does such a great job blurring your pores it really is a beautiful primer i really do enjoy using it um it's the one that i've been using the most i've been using this one and the one by elf but this one just i don't know it just feels really really nice on the skin it's um it's like a creamy color but when you put it on it's not as the elf one feels a little stiffer like more dense this one is creamier but it does a great job covering or blurring your pores i have enlarged pores here here a little bit on my forehead but the ones here are the worst ones and this one does a beautiful job you know taking care of those i'm talking about something that gives you a beautiful start to your canvas before you put your foundation on it's this moisturizer that is very pricey and um i got this i don't remember it's been a while because i don't use it all the time this is a charlotte tilbury no charlotte tilbury magic cream and this is the facial moisturizer this thing what i do is i put my um skincare on minus my moisturizer then i put my sunscreen and i actually use this as a primer i put this all over my face after my sunscreen this makes your makeup go on so beautifully oh my gosh it smells amazing it just feels amazing going over your face i actually just ordered um it's a duo one they're not i don't think they're full size but it brings this on the eye cream because I really do love the eye cream also. But this, I don't use it all the time. Some, you know, I'll, most of the time is if I'm going to something special and I want my makeup to look amazing. I love this using it as a primer. It just looks amazing. I don't know what to say. It's just something special about it that makes it look really, really pretty. All right, so this month, um, I really have not been using that many eyeshadow palettes. What I have been using mainly is my um, 
I showed you guys before. I've been using the Laura Geller powder foundation. This is the double take baked versatile powder foundation. And this is a medium. And then also the Ed Celebration Foundation Illumination, um, which is in light. And both of these look beautiful on the face. They're so fast. And this is mainly what I've been using this month. I just haven't been feeling like putting the, you know, liquid foundation on. And these are just quicker and, I'll, you know, you're done. Um, I've had these in my collection for a while. These are from um, Rare Beauty. Um, this is like a little three pack, three pack of the lock size uh, blushes. And I have been neglecting them. I've had them for a while and really have not been using them. And I decided this month, hey, you know what? Start using this stuff. So this is what I have on my face today. I actually have this one, which is in this shade Love. Love or Live? Love. And they're so pretty. I'm going to put them on my, face, on my hand and then I'll show you. They really are pretty. I enjoy them. They're very easy to blend. Now this last one is a little bright. But I'll show you how pretty. They're just very, very easy. They're more of a liquid than they are a cream. And you only need a little. I mean, to get this, I, I only used a little. It's, it looks very dark on my hand. But if you do it with, um, I just did like this with my finger. And then I took a stippling brush. I went over it. And again, it was just like a little dot. So this is the orange one. This is the one I'm wearing. And then this one is a very light one. The light one is called Bliss. The one I'm wearing is Love. And the, the orange one is um, Joy. They're really pretty. All it takes is just one little dot. And now I have all this makeup on my hand. But just one little dot. And then it looks so, so pretty on your face. I don't have to set it with, um, with a powder foundation. Sometimes I wonder why use a cream foundation if you're going to go over with a powder foundation. That kind of defeats the purpose. To me, it's like adding an extra step. So most of the time, I do not set it with another, um, with a powder foundation. If anything, I just set like with a finishing powder my entire face and I go lightly over my cheeks also, but I do not go with, with another uh, blush. <laughs> and then I also have this one, which is gorgeous. I've heard people, uh, some like it, some don't. I like it. I don't have any problem with it. Um, I've heard like Jennifer, no, um, uh, Jessica Braun. She says it's patchy on her. I've used this one more than the other ones. I've never found it to be patchy. I find it very easy. It kind of feels like powdery when you're putting it over your face. And I think it looks beautiful on. So I really haven't had any trouble with it. This is also from Rare Beauty. And this is in the shade Nearly Mauve. And I think it's gorgeous. And I love the packaging. It's so cute. It has a little mirror in there. And look how pretty that is. So I really like it. I've had that one uh, for a while. I've used it quite a bit. And I love it. All right. And this is the kind of stuff I've been wearing this month on my eyes. And it's basically, I use it on my face and on my eyes because it's really quick. And this is the one from Ulta, the Baked Sculpt and Glow Palette, three in one. And this is in Santorini Sun. They do have three of them. I have the two lightest ones. And I believe this is the, the lightest. And then I have another one. I can't remember what the shade is, but that one is beautiful also. All right, I wanna show you guys this. This is from, from Guerlain. And I love Guerlain. I love the products. I don't like the price. And I love the beauty of their packaging and the product itself. They always make it look so attractive and definitely say, buy me, buy me. Okay, this is the Terracotta Hestia Island and it's a bronzing and blush powder duo. Okay, I didn't buy this at the store. I actually bought this on Mercari and it was brand new in the box. I've used it a couple of times, but look at this beauty. This is so, oh my God, this is so pretty. This is a bronzer that I have on right now. And I think the little glittery thing that you see is just like an overspray. 
but this is so gorgeous and I just used the bronzer lightly on my cheeks I did not use the blush because I wanted to use a liquid brush blush but this is so gorgeous if you guys look on Mercari sometimes you can find some really good deals and I only buy new I don't like to buy anything that anybody has used and um and if it says sometimes it says like new and it's because it's not in a box but the actual product is new i don't need a box but this was like less than half the price and to me this is gorgeous the box was you know perfect like you just bought it at sephora and yeah i really really do enjoy this I've also been using a lot my uh, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte, the face palette, and I've been using it on my eyes and face. And definitely have been using my uh, a half mascara on today because I was planning on going to the hospital, but my husband was nice enough to um, stay there so I wouldn't have to today because I'm achy. But the Kiss Magnetic Lashes, these are in Charm. But these have been so handy. Uh, I think most of the videos that I had up this month, I was wearing these because I was too lazy to want to put on mascara and take it off. And this is a lipstick that I've had for a while, but I don't think I've shown you guys. This is what I'm wearing. And this is the um, Maybelline Super Stay. And this is similar to um, CoverGirl has one like this that is a liquid lipstick that you put on and then it brings the um once it dries you put like a this it's like a gloss i don't want to put it there because let me just put it on this side uh, over here you guys can see it. it really has no shade it's just like a shiny gloss so your lips don't do, don't look dry and you can reapply this during the day and this is like kiss proof it goes nowhere this lasts all day until you take it off now i like the maybelline better because it's all connected the cover girl is two different pieces and i don't always if i find the lipstick i can't find the other part and vice versa so i really do enjoy this one because it comes together now what i'm wearing on my eyes today i wanted to do something a little different and I'm using this Violet Voss palette, which is so pretty. I love the purples in here. They're just gorgeous. And this is the Sweet Violet Fun Size. And I got this as an add-on on, on um, BoxyCharm. So yeah, this is what I have. The two perfumes that I have been great gravitating towards this month is Powdery Hawthorne by Audacier and Floral Honeysuckle. And this one is the top notes are, oh lordy, uh, Neroli Orange Blossom. Middle notes are Hawthorne Helithrope Flower. And the base notes are Vanilla Am Ambretto and Peru Balsam. Okay, this is a dupe for a, I believe, a Tom Ford. Where's my phone? I didn't bring it. I think it was a Tom Ford. I will link it below. And then this one is a, it's a dupe for Gucci. And this is the top notes are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine, sandback, and tuberose. And the base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Both of them are amazing. I'm wearing today the Pottery Hawthorne. This is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to share this with you. I really do enjoy their perfumes. They're so, so good. And then I have been loving, loving, and this didn't come in my advent calendar. I had this already. Um, this is from Forever Shine Collections, and this is the Wintergreen Vegan Body Lotion. This smells so good. I have been putting it on at night after I take a shower and let, oh hold on let me go get my PJs I just got some PJs from um, TJ Maxx I actually um, went I actually went to TJ Maxx I haven't been to a store because I haven't felt well and I can't even tell you how long but hold on let me show I'm going to show you the PJs. okay so here are my PJs they're like a beautiful it's like a tie-dye but it's like a mauvey 
violet it's got the long sleeves with the little cuff on them and then it has like a little v-neck and it does have like a couple of buttons i think three buttons yes and it's not super long it comes to like halfway down your butt okay but it's so soft this is the most cuddly soft material to sleep in i love to feel comfortable i don't like to feel tight or i don't like to wear something that keeps falling off my shoulder or you know that i have to keep pulling down i just like to be able to go to bed and forget about what i'm wearing this is amazing and then it comes with the long pants which i enjoy long pants always it has the brand is Danskin, and it has the little Danskin little tag on there. I got them in an extra large. I probably could have worn a large, but I like my pajamas to be nice and comfy and snugly, but not tight. You know what I mean? I just like them comfy. So they have like the little elastic waist. And what I love about them is they have the cuff at the bottom because that way they stay in place. They don't crawl up your leg. I hate pajama pants that crawl up your legs. They were supposed to stay. Again, so comfy. My husband was, um, we were sitting on the couch last night watching TV and he was like, wow, those pajamas feel so good because I was like leaning on him. And he says, they're so cuddly, they feel so good. And he was kidding. He goes, they have pair for men. But these are so good. They were $20 and worth every single penny. I love this. This is like magical. So last night I took my shower. I put this all over and it just smells nice and cozy. It's not very strongly scented. But just enough. It has like a little bit of peppermint. But like a little bit of fall scent with it. It was amazing. It really is amazing. It just relaxes you. And then my cozy PJs yes I, I love that i love to be comfy when i go to bed i don't like i said i don't like anything i have a nice soft blanket that is very cuddly i love it okay my last favorite are these glasses and these glasses are so cute okay these were only like 14.99 the brand was is sohos so um i got them on um, Amazon and I took everything out of here but it does come with a cleaning cloth but anyway the reason I bought these is because I saw my friend Wendy uh, buy these uh, talk about these glasses and I loved them and I love the fact that they have the little plastic on the, the nose here I don't like the ones that have the hard plastic with the aluminum or the wire or whatever those always always make a, a they hurt and they make a mark on my nose and i don't like that because i don't know when you take them off you have this terrible mark on your nose so i like i always buy only buy glasses that have the little plastic thing like this because i don't have that problem so i think these are pretty cool i don't like to spend a lot of money on glasses because i lose them so yep that's my story so anyway i love these i will link wendy below and you haven't subscribed to her you need to check her out she is amazing and she's an amazing friend also anyways so this is my favorites for the month um i don't think i had one last month i didn't do a favorites video but some of these favorites are not just monthly guys they're like always some of the stuff i use all the time i love it all the time and i know i've shown you guys before but i want you to see that it's a true favorite because i continue to use it and repurchase it so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It does help my, my channel with the algorithm so that they recommend my videos more. A lot of you are so, so amazing in leaving me comments, but sometimes I have like 50, 60 comments and I have like 29 likes. So I know that some of you just forget. Uh, what I've taught myself to do when I watch anybody's video is as soon as I start watching, I hit the like button so I don't forget it. So you'll be so kind to please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you decide to and you know we can get to get we can get to know each other better. Thank you so much guys. I love you and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah. 
Okay, my last favorite are these glasses. And these glasses are so cute, okay? These were only like $14.99. The brand was, is Sohos. So um, I got them on um, Amazon. And I took everything out of here, but it does come with a cleaning cloth. But anyway, the reason I bought these is because I saw my friend Wendy uh, buy these... Uh, talk about these glasses and i love them and i love the fact that they have the little plastic on the the nose here i don't like the ones that have the hard plastic with the aluminum or the wire or whatever those always always make a uh, they hurt and they make a mark on my nose and i don't like that because i don't know when you take them off you have this terrible mark on your nose so i like i always buy only buy glasses that have the little plastic thing like this because I don't have that problem so i think these are pretty cool i don't like to spend a lot of money on glasses because i lose them so yep that's my story so anyway i love these i will link wendy below and if you haven't subscribed to her you need to check her out she is amazing and she's an amazing friend also if you are interested in these bars um i will list below mary ellen has a 10 percent off coupon and that's Mary Ellen after 60. If you guys have not checked her out, you need to. She's an amazing woman. She has beautiful, beautiful skin. And she is beautiful inside and out. She is the sweetest. And I have been subscribed to her for a long time. And she has subscribed to me shorter than I have subscribed to her. But she is such a great friend. Very supportive. And she's always showing us the best hacks and the best products that you can purchase out there, the best deals. She likes to shop and get amazing deals. So I will list her channel below and also her discount code. That is what I used when I purchased these.